In today's episode, we're going to have the current Europa League Barcelona with the likes of Luc de Jong take on a prime version of Barcelona with the likes of Messi, Suarez and Neymar, Carlos Puyol and co. This should be fun, probably for the prime Barca and not so much for the Europa League one. Honestly, guys, it still hasn't sunk in that Barcelona won't be in the Champions League knockouts. I mean, it's genuinely mad. It's mad. I do find it funny that they've drawn Napoli in the Europa League. I mean, 2020 Champions League knockouts, Barca versus Napoli was the same game, but just in a different competition. But anyways, back to, of course, the tragedy that is this Barcelona side. Oh boy. Ha, ah, they have just fallen off the cliff. They really have. Ronald Koeman was the manager first. He's gone. Xavi's in. It's gonna take time for him to instill his beliefs and not just that. The team. He needs players, guys. How do you expect him to win trophies with Dembele, who's mostly in the hospital rather than on the pitch? Thank you very much, lads. See you later. And who's just wanting more money and a new contract. I just don't get it. Then you've got a tap-in merchant and a penalty merchant in Memphis Depay. I mean, if he can score from open play soon, that'd be nice. Ansu Fati, just the most unluckiest player of all time at this point. Pedri has been literally overused and played every single game. This man went to the Euros and the Olympics in the same summer. Of course, he's injured. Frankie de Jong in that midfield, his career highlight being that one nutmeg he did on Montreux and get past him. I thought, I thought, hey, come closer. He's never done anything since then. 42 pace for Sergio Busquets, dare I say anything more? Alba Pique at the back, I mean, it's it's time to retire them, but oh well. Araujo is the only player I can say a few positive things about. He's actually decent. Serginio Des looks clueless these days. Testegen, where do I even begin? He is a fraud. He is a fraud. To be fair though, I'd love to see to stay and have like a competitive defense ahead of him maybe then we can get like a better judgment on him but yeah he, he's still been very average lately on the bench mighty luke de jong i just can't believe they loaned in luke de jong i mean what's he gonna provide gavi nico gonzalez a few of the bright spots we got minguez as well decent long is clueless eric garcia is a bit meh and neto as the backup keeper this i cannot believe is a barcelona squad like this looks so average so mid-table don't get fooled by the ratings of Busquets, PK, Alban, De Stegen. They're pretty average right now. I mean, their time has come up, I guess, but whatever. This is so, so average for the Barcelona team. And that explains why they are 8th in La Liga. I swear they won't make it to the Champions League next season, and that's gonna be a first in like 18, 19 years or something. Mental. And now, guys, are you ready for this? The Dream Team. One of the greatest Barcelona sides of all time. That's what we've built here. Unbelievable. Take me back. As a Barca fan, just take me back. That was an error. We're trying to base this around the 2015 team, but I've managed to snuck in Carlos Puyol in there. I've used the mod that gets me icons, so that's exactly why you're seeing Puyol and Xavi in the team. Dani Alves isn't in the game yet for some reason, so I've just created him, given him OP stats, and put him in the team. All right, so let's start with the forward line. Neymar, Suarez, and Messi. This, unarguably, I think, is the best front three this sport has ever seen. Absolutely. it's They were just, they worked so well well together i think it's because they got along really well off the pitch but yeah just incredible and then in midfield if if the attack wasn't enough xavi iniesta and busquets like this was a prime Sergio busquets as well he was unreal we all know about how good xavi is iniesta too i've managed to like get him from Vissel kobe put him on here upgraded his stats and everything but that was a midfield that is a midfield absolutely unreal and of course in defense you still had the alba pk but they were a lot better back then we could have put Mascherano, but since he's not in the game, decided to just snuck in Carlos Puyol. Dani Alves has been put in as well to complete the team. And I've actually gone ahead and put Claudio Bravo. I thought back in 2015, Bravo only pay, played La Liga games and he was actually decent. I'd say he was better than Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen was good in the Champions League though, but whatever. We've put Bravo for a bit of variety in this team. You got a few players like Munir, Pedro, Rafinha, Rakitic, Mark Bartra and all on the bench. But that is, that is your prime Barcelona back when they were actually capable. Back when Leo Messi was leading them. Actually, we need to make Xavi captain. 100%. Actually, nah, it's gotta be Carlos Puyol. What am I? Who am I kidding? 
Messi's got to be taking the free kicks as well and pins. We'll give Xavi the corners. There you go. You might be wondering how is this video going to work? Basically, we're going to be putting the Europa League Barcelona up against the prime Champions League worthy Barcelona team in a 1v1 AI versus AI match and we'll be sitting back relaxing enjoying the tragedy because I feel that Europa League Barca team is gonna get absolutely slapped. We might chuck in like a Volta game as well between the two sides to just, you know, have a bit of fun. But yeah, let's see what happens. I used to do these experiments like way back and it was what this channel was built around. Then I just took a break, went a different way, but we're bringing them back occasionally every couple of weeks or so. And hopefully you enjoyed. If you do, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here. We're making a push for 400k subs. Let's get it. By the way, just a quick refresher. We're not going to be controlling any of the teams. We're just going to see what happens on the pitch and have a bit of fun. I'm, I'm going going to be making an early prediction here boys i'm thinking the prime barca team is gonna run away with a 4-0 win that's my prediction early on it's barca versus barca let's see i want everyone watching this video to drop a prediction if in real life this game happens what do you think the scoreline will be i could see 5-0 6-0 7-0 happening because this barca team is that fragile and of course the Prime Bars have got Messi. We're going to have them wear the purple kits and the other club wear, or not the other club, but like, yeah, Barcelona Europa League edition wear the normal kits, the, the home kits, okay? There you go. All right, we're seeing oh, Ansu Fati. Oh, he's done. Dani Alves, that is, that is a bit unreal. Ansu taking it wide, though. Goes back inside for Alba. Alba, inside. Oh, we're seeing Europa League Barcelona and Jordi Alba taking a shot with his right foot like that guys um you 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 knew he he was using his right foot there with how awful it was actually decent wow Jordi alba okay okay now i'm surprised at how early on in this game we're not seeing prime barcelona take a bit of initiative and dominate the game where we're seeing them just do nothing not a fan of this come on busquets now we're seeing messi this is it luis suarez go on Messi's making a run. Suarez goes out wide for... Why is Neymar wearing number 10? This game has lost it. I don't like this. I don't like this. Messi now. Neymar shoots. Penalty? Penalty? No, Ter Stegen just makes a save there. Why is Neymar wearing number 10? I think it's because Neymar PSG wears 10. Messi wears 30. So the game has just given Messi 30. Xavi taking a corner for Barcelona. This might get a bit emotional, guys. And why is he trying to find Leo Messi on a set piece? Like, oh, Puyol. Carlos Puyol there on it. Lovely. And I think ha, Europa League Barcelona has got an injury. How realistic that is. We'll see if that is serious or anything. But right now, looks like I think the game needs to be stopped. It just hits Memphis. And finally, the ref decides to stop the game. Memphis is out. And I think we're going to see King Luke de Jong make an appearance. Ah, it's fitting. It's fitting that Barcelona have a player injured. Even in this video. Oh my God, is this hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how he got injured, but oh well. We're going to see. Yup, Luke de Jong comes on. King Luke de Jong, the goat himself. Oh boy. All right, now we're seeing Frankie de Jong. Come on, the de Jongs need to combine with each other. Ansu now shoots and Puyol putting in a block there. So far, I think it's been an even game, which is weird and just completely explains FIFA having no sense. Oh, here's Dembele. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. When he's fit, he can do a, a job. Let's just put it that way. Pedri now. Still Pedri. Busquets. He should He should really like... I think it's his time at Barca's... Yeah, I think it's over, but oh well. Dembele, Pedri. Look at this play. And of course, the prime Barca wins it back. We need to now see Neymar, Suarez and Messi. Go on. Suarez, Xavi, out wide for Dani Alves. Isn't this beautiful to see? Back inside for Xavi. Oh, he's done nicely. Neymar now goes for goal. Bang. There it is. There it is. There it is. The first of the night. It's Neymar and Neymar, Messi, Albert, Iniesta doing this. The cringe. I, I don't think we'll ever see Messi or Iniesta do a celebration like this ever. But we'll let it slide. Messi assisting Neymar. Where did, like, yeah, Xavi popped up out of nowhere in that position. But Neymar, what a finish. So, Gino Dest, the frauded in Barcelona, the Europa League Barcelona need to maybe get a goal back. Otherwise, problems for them. And Ansu's probably going to be the player that can help them make that happen. Busquets, Pedri, Busquets again. Ansu Fati. 
back for Diong. This is getting pointless now. What are they trying to do? Kind of explains it in real life. They just can't seem to find that goal. When you've got Luke Diong up top, I, I, I think, can't really blame them, can you now? But Ansu is trying his best, and he's just passing it backwards, and finally they lose the ball. It's just awful watching this Europa League Barca. Suarez is just going to run through. Ah, this, this is actually sad, watching the current Barcelona team. Anyways... We're seeing all, all the legends link up. Suarez, Messi, Neymar and all. Xavi looking for Messi. Shoots. How has the Stegen saved that? Messi was onside as well. Fair enough. Set piece. Oh, that was awful. Oh, what on earth was that going on between De Stegen and Sha uh, Dest? But oh well. Long ball approach for Dembele. That might be the only way to win. Oh, Dembele. He's done really well there. You know what? That was a good attack. But bravo. Good save. That's a good ball for Luis Suarez. And look at PK being out of position. Simple pass in for Neymar. Goal. Goal number two. This is getting bad. This is getting real bad for Europa League Barca now. 2-0 down. Neymar with a brace. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is getting bad. I think we're seeing more. We're seeing more and more and more. And Messi's shot saved by De Stegen. Honestly, we could see like five or six goals in this game from the prime Barca. It's getting that bad. Xavi to take the corner. Decent. Puyol trying to attack it. No, it's Messi trying to attack it. False foot. Ah, De Jong clears it away for once. Oh, that's a nice touch. But Araujo does well. You know what? Let me show you guys how I've made Dani Alves in game. Look at that, guys. Dani Alves. I, I think he looks fairly okay, especially from a distance. Of course, you zoom in, he doesn't look all that much like Dani Alves. But I reckon I've done a decent job, I'd say. I'll give myself a pat on the back for that. Not too shabby. Half time and 2 0 is. I think a blessing for the Europa League Barca side. Second half, let's see. Yeah, look at the XG. 2.3 versus 0 0.8. It's looking like a no contest. Second half, let's go. Been a while since we've seen an attack in this game. And with a pass like that, it's not going to happen. But I'm barely seeing anything from Xavi's Barcelona, you could say. Just nothing. Are we going to see a Busquets goal holding him off? And Xavi puts in the challenge and firing it for Neymar. This, this is unfair. This is unfair. They're just too good. Neymar, Messi and Suarez playing with each other. It's just too nice. And Sergio Busquets has broken through. What? Of all players, of having Messi, Suarez and Neymar, Sergio Busquets, who ends up smashing that one in. I told you this was going to be a no contest. 3-0 up. Wow. Oh, Dembele. Finally, 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 we see a goal from, of course, um, Usman Dembele. You know what? When he's on the pitch, he can be decent. But I remember a quote coming from Laporta saying he's better than Mbappe. Laporta, I know he's decent. Dembele, when he's not in the hospital, he's decent. But nah, he's not better than killing Mbappe. Just now, nah, you're having a laugh now. Everybody is happy. Aye, that was a bad challenge. And the ref just ignored it from Alba. Alba and Dembele. Okay, interesting. But now the game has changed. It looks like momentum is with the shit Barcelona team, you could say. But oh well. Messi. Haven't seen him do anything for, for, for surprises. Okay, what just happened there with Messi and Alba? What were they trying to do? Uh, that was a different kind of cutback Messi got from Alba. Oh, Messi again. He's turned Araujo. Oh, he's done Araujo. He just sat on his foot. Oh, what's he done there? Suarez. There you go. 4-1. Araujo just sat on his bum. As Barca break through. Lovely stuff. 4-1. I told you. I think there's more coming. I think now there's more coming. It's 4-1. 15, 20 minutes to go. This could get bad for the Europa League Barca team. Hey, we're seeing Pedro come on for Neymar. Neymar just scored a brace and he's off. Pedro's on. Good ball. Dembele shoots. Bravo with a good save. 4-2 I think would be a good scoreline for the Europa League Barca team. So, um, yeah, let's see. Probably should have been a bigger scoreline because I think the prime Barca team is a lot better. 4-1 seems like a uh, bit meh, but still 4-1. Destroyed them, I guess. Um, there you go. You know what I want to do next, guys? I want to put this prime Barcelona side into career mode, simmer season, and just see if they can win the Champions League. Because why not? So let's remove all the current crop players. Gonna just be putting them all in the free agents tab, because why the hell not? If they were not part of the squad back then, we're not gonna keep them in here. That means all of them gone. We'll keep Umtiti to just fill up the squad with certain amount of players. Pedri's gone, Coutinho's gone, Longley's gone, Neto is gone too. 
Dembele is gone. Depay is gone. Yeah, that's, that's I guess, fine. We'll keep the rest. Oh, we gotta get rid of Frankie de Jong. Forgot about him. I kind of want to put this Barca team in the Champions League in because I just want to see how they compete against Bayern. So that's why we'll, we'll keep them in the Champions League, guys. We'll keep them in the Champions League. Everything else, we'll probably disable the first transfer window. Yeah, everything else, we'll just keep it as usual and just sim through the season. All right, boys, we are in career mode with the Barca team. Oh, why is Sergio Roberto starting? Get out of here. It's got to be Danny Alves. And why is Luke de Jong here? I think he's because on loan. Got to get rid of him, guys. Got to get rid of him. I don't think anything more will satisfy me than this. Terminating the loan of Luke de Jong. He is gone. We've got our team set for the video. Let's use this and simulate all the way until the end of the season and see what a prime Barca can do in career mode. Guys... How? How did I get sacked with a prime Barcelona team? I'm confused. How bad did they perform on the pitch? What? What, what, what what's this? This I, I just I just don't get it. This is gonna get memed. You just know it. How? We'll we'll take whatever job we get. It's at Alaves. I just wanna see what happened in La Liga and the Champions League. I'm curious. Okay, guys, the moment of truth. Why we got sacked with this Bas side? They won La Liga and by a big margin. Why did we get sacked then? I'm confused. What about the Spanish? Spanish Cup. Okay, fair play. They didn't win that. They got knocked out to Valladolid. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, Champions League, what happened? Let's see. Topped our group, won every single game, got the better of Bayern. That's an achievement. But then in the round of 16, nah, no way. Liverpool got the better of this prime Barca team. That is a joke. <laughs> And then Atletico end up winning the Champions League. Unreal. At least we should be able to see who scored the most goals. Suarez, Neymar, and then Messi goals-wise. Iniesta did well. Xavi did okay. Interesting. But how on earth did this team not knock out Liverpool? <sighs> bit of a funny one i guess but with that guys this is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode or video maybe we'll bring back these versus experiment videos for the future if you guys want to see more drop like subscribe and i'll catch you guys for the next one peace